actually going to be a really interesting set. Because we we haven't seen these two play each other outside, outside of Wi-Fi tournaments. We have not seen these two play each other, but also these two are kind of like are kind of like a yin and yang sort of deal. Yeah. So you, you we, got the super oh. expressive Wild Gallade. We have okay. So in one corner, we have the optimal of the optimal, the calm, calculated decision making of Shadow Cat versus the hyper energetic in your face style of play from Wild the, Gallade. The weave in and out. It's like, Gallade has, I believe, has, I've said this many times, but I think Wild Gallade has some of the best movement of all breaks and plays. I can agree with that. I played, when I got to play him today, very very good movement. But we knew, what, knew how to weave in and out of every situation, but, all right, yes, we are getting the breaks in Ditto. This is going to be so exciting. But, like, on one hand, we have a, car a player who is extremely aggressive, extremely in-your-face, will not let you breathe without, like, breathing in some charcoal dust yeah. from that fire. But on the other hand, we have a calm, calculated, decision-making machine of a man in Shadow Cat. What are, when's the right time to go for the optimals? When's the right time to go in? When's the right time to go out? When's the right time to stay back in zone? That's the question here. And here when's we go, starting it off. We are going to be going into the first match with Shadow Cat and Wild Galley. Sh right, now, right now, Shadow Cat is pretty much just winning this phase. He's going to be going back into, back to the corner. And Galley trying to apply pressure, but Shadow not falling for it. Couches the counter, and is going to get the fireball conversions into the field phase. Going back into the dual phase. Good, good grab crush there by Wild Galley. Gets the Snivy. He's going to get the Snivy. He's going to get the Oki and Fire Spin. He's going to start his pressure. Shadow Cat is going to burst with that m with so much more meter, and Wild Galley is just going to flame charge out. That is what we're going to be seeing a lot of. Wild Galley's usage of flame charge and his air dashes is how he plays this character. Oh my goodness, Shadow Cat! Did you see that? He jumps over the grab using a. Not, not the grab. Uh, he jumps over the counter, the CA, using his knowledge of the height system, and breaks in the counter attack being a mid low. Yep. Like, wow. Clever. Well, good stuff there by Shadow Cat. Right now, just going back into field, back into duel. All right. Right now, Shadow Cat is just like weaving around his. Right now, Shadow Cat's just weaving around Wild Gallade, pushing him into like a zone where he can't really do his thing. Both characters, both players have the same amount of meter. Both players have full support. This is up to the breaks and player now. And Ooh. unfortunately, that Amolga is just gonna miss. But in the end, Shadow Cat won that trade, gets the phase shift. And he, again, dude, that. Dude, I'm, I feel like I'm watching The Matrix or something. Like they're just using like the same. They're, like, they're literally reading each other. It's ridiculous. Dude, it's like that scene in like any action movie where they're like running, but they have like the, the like dual guns. And it's yeah. Like, and <laughs> but they're just like going, and the, each of the like, bullets are like missing. Like that's what's happening. But right now, Wild Galley is knows. at a huge disadvantage. Even though he does have burst, he has 18 health left. And Shadow Cat has his, has his burst still. He's not opting to use it though because he has no reason to. But. He's going to confirm into field the timer here. Oh, he tried anti airing. It's finally nope, reaching 20 it. seconds. And getting the confirm into that side beam, game one goes to Shadow Cat in this best of five sets. Whiff punish, whiff pun getting that whiff punish at the end. Very clutch stuff by Shadow Cat. And that looked pretty dominant from Shadow Cat, honestly. Like right now, like it's going pretty well in his favor. But if anything, Wild Gallade has shown his ability to adapt to the situation and adapt his movement accordingly. Yep. So it's definitely going to be like, this is going to be a long set. It's going to be a long set for sure. So grab your popcorn, grab like a nice cold drink. Enjoy this night of poking at Michigan Masters 2019. I thought you were going to start to say 2018 for a second. Oh, you, oh <laughs> everybody thinks that. Everybody thinks that at the beginning of the year. But you got to adapt at some point. Just like Wild Gallade is Try. not adapting here yet. He's, he's working on it. You give him some time. Yeah, don't like give him some time. Ooh, double air dash. Oh, he tries 4xing out of that situation, but he was just just in the range of the counter still. He gets his hard knockdown down off that conversion, keeping going with that pressure, putting out Snivy to get that shield health, and Amolga is going to come out, break that counter. It's no, actually. Oh, no, yeah. He, uh, the counter actually came out right before Amolga was able to get his lady, get his blast out, but unfortunately. <laughs> All right, we got the field shift, phase shift again, and we're just kind of playing around each other. Wild Glade caught him with the side beam right there. Wild Gallade right now like pretty good. Shadow Cat has been forced to pop burst defensively, and that's like a pretty good call, honestly. Singing that chip. What's the mix? Light screen. Oh, Shadow Cat 
uses flame charge. Oh. Does not get a conversion. Okay. Gets the oh, OP. wow. He covered it with light screen. That was so good. He's going to chip him out even more with the Mulga. It could he be? He's not going for the shield break yet. Oh, he, and he dashes he, back and anti airs him. Yes. Smart he, stuff. He back dashes, hits him with the anti air flamethrower. A very smart move from Shadow Cat. Very clutch, too, because that, that flame charge is quick. You got to react to that like that. Flame charge is an extremely fast move. It's plus on block, too. If enhanced, it's. It's a, it's a combo starter. It's great. It's, it's a, such it's a, a good, good. It's a good move. Combine that with Brixton's already like great mobility with her with her air dashes. It's it's a truly wondering thing. Oh man, we got Matrix. We got the Matrix again. More Matrix action here. All right, just kind of poke it, trying to poke at each other. Trying to poke at each other, just trying to get some pokes, just trying to get some projectiles in, just trying to fill the screen a little bit, make it difficult for everybody else to get through. Make it look really entertaining for the people. Like, ooh, pretty flames. Oh no. Oh yo. He backdashes. Yo. Calls out the backdash with backdash. <laughs> Incredible. Inc 10,000 IQ play from both of these people. I love it. All right, counters the homie attack. Got the corner pressure now. Light screen is going to be the wake up option. Ooh. Counters flame charge. Goes by. Oh, okay. Snivy caught him. Snivy caught him. Bonfire is going to connect. That's a ton of damage. On Shadow Cat. Is Shadow gonna use burst though? I, he doesn't seem to need it, need it right now since he has the health lead. Okay, he goes for it anyway. He's gonna pop it just to, just for safety purposes. Good. Oh, he's gonna need to right now. Ooh. Oh. He's gonna stuff it out, but there's no way to convert off of that. Okay, he's gonna go get a throw, and that's gonna end it off. Going into round three of game two. Yeah, Galilee able to clutch it out. Was that really good corner pressure? The Snivy call was really smart. It, that was an extremely good call. I'm super impressed on that confirm off of it as well. Bonfire, the dive kick is, it's okay, but like that was such a good use of it, picking him up and putting them in a situation where Galilee can capitalize off. And he gets he gets the side Y to Emolga confirm, gets the phase shift off of it. Side beam for pressure. Getting the boomerang out. More flame charge pressure. More flame charge pressure, but look at that shield oh help. My. Two flame charges is already like close to oh, oh, he backdashed out of the out of the way of the counter. Didn't get hit by it. Backdash is out of the way of the dive kick as well. It gets a punish off, and now Galley's in the corner. This is extremely favorable for Shadow Cat right sunny, now. Sunny day charges. Light screen. Uh, yeah. Galley's oh. dead, yeah. He's like, dead? Wow, that was really cool by Shadowcat right there. Didn't even need a special ender at that at the end. Just like just bash him over yeah, the head with yeah. a stick. Hit it, just killed him with a stick. Oh a no! Stick. You, they're really sticking it to him. They're really sticking it to each other. Yo, where'd you get the water bottle? <laughs> I have sources. Oh no! I was prepared for that. Ugh. Like, you were prepared for that, but I've had, like, a single cup of coffee, and I've made it last all day. It, Tim Hortons is wondrous. I don't even drink coffee, dude. Dude, like... I survive off... Single cup of coffee. I survive off... Single cup of coffee in the morning. Like, I survive off of pure willpower, but that pun right there killed all my willpower. Oh, no. <laughs> well, we are going into game three. It's possibly match point for Shadowcat right now. But Wild Galley might have... He's going to have to do something drastic to turn this around. It's going to be hard, though, because Shadowcat looks like... Anytime Galley looks like he has a, an edge on Shadow, he immediately adapts to it. He'll immediately... Corner pressure? Nothing. I'll just get you out. Just get you out of there. I'll wait for when. I'll wait for when you call. Ooh, is he gonna punish the sunny day call with a side beam? Side beam for pressure. Boomerang. Double boomerang. Sylveon. That's that's an interesting support change from Amolga from Snivy to Sylveon. This is going to make Gallade a lot more bulky. Yeah. It's going to like definitely increase his odds of survival. Baits out the counter with the two Y poke. Like, even with the Mulga scaling, that's doing so much less than it was before. I know, that is ridiculous. Light screen to punish the back dash. Okay, rolls out of the way, hits him with double projectiles. Light screens to get rid of that fire blast. Both get ready, get Sunny Day. Both they literally Sunny Day. mimicked each other that for that couple of interactions. Hey man, it's synchronized. It's synchronized. It's art. But it right now, ooh, they attack left, just went away. But Shadow Cat is unable to get a full conversion off. Punishes the light screen with the counter attack ash cancel. And it's less of a punish and more of just a call out. Like, you're still plus after light screen. 
So that was a very hard call out from Wild Galley, knowing that Shadow Cat was going to be much more defensive than beforehand. Trying to just hopefully let that uh, Sylveon uh, buff just wear out over time, but that's, that thing lasts forever. I know for a fact. Oh man, we got uh, we're uh, yo yo. yo I, is this oh like par? Goodness. Is this under par right is now? Is this golf? Wait, are we turning into golf? Yo, golf okay. Now? I mean, yeah, but the flamethrower will go through the fire blast because of that projectile's rather mediocre projectile weight. Right now, Wild Galate is just going to oh. zone him out a little bit. He's going to try to wrest momentum back from that corner that he's in, but it's going to be a little bit difficult as Shadowcat just he's dash is dash back and call got the flame charge call out. With he the anti-air. He's gonna flip it. Uh-oh. Flames. Shadow, Shadow Cat's able to get the confirm into the Emolga. He's gonna get the burst declare, resetting face of points. Ooh! Oh, flame charge to the boomerang. He's gonna get not confirming it. Resets. Into oh my goodness! He confirms into a reset, and that just kills him that off of that side beam into flamethrower. That was brutal. Oh my goodness, Shadow That's Cat. extremely like painful like wow I was just, I was I was I'm blown away every time Shadowcat plays I don't care how many times he's come to our locals he blows me away every time like Shadowcat is just some like I, Shadowcat is known to get better the longer he plays he's one of the players that like notes what you do and adapts to it accordingly really quickly which leads him to be very good in like a tournament setting oh. right now he's on match point and he's definitely where he wants to be against Wild Galad Ooh, Galad gets the conversion, pushes him into the corner. Backdashes back again. Gets He's... the 4x, all right. All right. Oh, the flame charge cancel. Yo, he does the sunny hops. He does the sunny Is day cancel. Is that what they call it, the sunny hop? Uh, It's sunny day cancel. So that's 8x loops. But right now, Galade is able to is right now taking it back. He has that attack buff. He has he's double buff right now. This is oh, man. right where he needs that to is be. A, that is a scary buff to have right now, especially with only 30 seconds left on the clock. Ooh. But Shadowcat does not even seem phased by it. He's just going in still. He's gonna continually buff himself. All right. He doesn't need to use burst yet. Galade is definitely like in the lead. Ooh. Our good good burst call. No perfect block. Okay, Shadowcat's definitely in the lead right now. Oh, how do you not get hit? I was Did the armor through it? I don't no. know what happened. It, just, it looked like it just went past him. The shield health right now, ooh, looking pretty oh, bad. Shadow, Shadow Cat has a conversion. Oh, he's no. going to get hit. Oh, he's got to chip him out. He's got to, oh. Who has the health? Oh, it's Galad. He has the health lead. He has the health lead. He has Galad. the health lead by one. By one health. Wow. Galad Ex puts himself on the board. After one of the, that was close. That was extremely close. I thought he was going to do like one more projectile, but I think he thought that Galley was going to try and do a reckless approach again. That was just why he went for flamethrower to yeah, try to call out the try call charge. Out a, try call out a char jump or a flame charge. But we're going into game four now. 2-1 Shadowcat's advantage with Galley clutching it out last game, so he's got a bit of momentum on his side. And we're just going to see how this works for him. And now we're going to see it from Wild Galley's perspective now. It's always, it's always a cool feature to have for Pokémon streams. I love seeing both perspectives. All right, Wild Galate's taking a bit of damage. He's stuck in the corner. Amoga's on Oki. Ooh, no conversion though. As both of them get knocked down, confirming off of the side wave. Yeah. Side, side beam. Side, side beam. Yeah. 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 All right, but Shadowcat. That corner pressure put a lot of damage on Galate, and now he has got a lot of work to do. He whisks the throw, but nothing com comes out of it. Goes for the goes for the Sylveon call. And you saw that sideway, it did nothing. Look at that. Look at that damage. Yeah, man, like, right now, breaks the, I, honestly, Sylveon's an incredibly underrated support, but that support is, me is Sylveon, there, is, there used to be a meme. Sylveon saves lives, and it still holds true to this very day. Oh, Ethan's yeah. buff is extremely strong in this game. And with all the characters running around with like with Mew what? and Eevee running like high attack buffs, Sylve this is a great support if you need like if you need that to be alleviated. Calls out the counter again with the two Y poke. Okay, he bursts. Burst declares. He bursts declares in front of the burst. And that's gonna confirm, isn't it? He's gonna confirm. That is, oh my goodness. Straight into the burst attack. Almost like, it's almost taunting in a way. Yeah, it's just like, I'm the fabulous one here. Like, hey man, I see what you're trying to do. 
But let, here's the thing. Let's do this. Let's do it my way. Yeah, we're doing it my way now. But we're all right. Round two now. Shadowcat is on game point. If he wins this, he advances into. He advances further into top eight while Gallade is going to be crying, out at eight. Crying and he's going to be crying in sadness. Probably not because he's been having a good time. Like man. Oh. So we're gonna be we're seeing a, like ooh another backdash to flamethrower. That's Shadowcat's just been on point with that the entire set, almost like taking advantage of Gallade's like aggressive tendencies of how he plays his character. Uses the boomerang to like pull him closer. Yeah, All right, just force the shift. Throws the fireball. Just trying to find find ways to try and poke at each other right now. Here comes the Sylveon call. The, the golf swing. Golf swing is not going to confirm. Yeah, Shadowcat is totally content with taking that trade. It totally gets, content. He has a speed debuff now. He got his Ogi set for some chip damage. And Galilee doesn't have meter. No, he doesn't. Oh. Like right now, Shadowcat's the one with the meter right now. He's he is calls, running this. He calls out the counter, counter in the corner. Counter in the corner. All right. He is at one HP. One wrong move from Galilee is going to end it here. And there's he, that wrong move. <laughs> he doesn't respect the Ogi from Shadowcat. Shadowcat moves on further into this top eight. Yeah. All right. Well, actually, you're next up on stream. Oh, yeah, I am. You're, all 